Hello everyone. Welcome to our course Linux Administration from Idionics. My name is Ahmed and I will be your instructor through this course. In this course, you will learn a lot of Linux and Unix tips and tricks and techniques. You will learn how to unleash Linux power to the max, how to use features that you never knew it existed in Linux, how to use the bash shell, how to automate your daily tasks, and how to develop new scripting skills. You will also understand infrastructure components like domain name server or DNS, DHCP, and other components. You will learn how to enforce security policies, how to add users, how to delete users, how to ensure that the correct privileges are assigned to the correct user, and how to secure your system against attackers. And of course, by using this, you will comply to your organization's policies and rules. You will also learn ways to discover and protect yourself against security vulnerabilities, whether in your own system or in other systems on the network. We have a special chapter on SSH in which you will learn that it's not just a way by which you connect to a Linux box. You can use it in a lot other ways that you can do amazing things, like for example by passing the firewall using what's called Sox proxy, and many more. So what do you need to follow up this course? Well, first of all, this course is not intended for complete beginners. That is, if you never used Linux before, if you don't know even what Linux is, I don't think this course will be good for you. But if you have some Linux experience, if you know what LS and what CD is, if you know what's the user and what's the difference between a user and a group, then you are good to go. In order to follow, you will need to have a machine that is running Linux. It doesn't need to be running Linux as a native operating system. It can be running Windows or Mac, and you can install Linux on a virtual machine. Any Linux variant will do. We will be using Red Hat variants and Debian variants, so if you're using Fedora or CentOS or Oracle Linux or even Red Hat Enterprise Linux, it's okay. If you're using Ubuntu, it's also okay. There are a lot of virtual machine engines available in the market, among which the Oracle VirtualBox and VMware Player are free. And finally, I highly, highly recommend that you work all the examples that you will see in, the, in this course, because Linux is never learned by memorizing, it's learned only by practicing. I hope you'll enjoy this course and see you in the first section.